Is this what vacationing feels like? This is vacationing. I couldn't do it. What do you mean? I already feel like I need to go and explore. We've been here for like two minutes. You're still recording? Yeah. We've been here for like two minutes and I'm already just itching to go. You're over it? I don't but, know if I can just... But we just it. paid so much money to be at this spot. Yeah, I don't know if I can do it. Okay. All right. Hi. Hi. We're struggling. Yeah. Well, this isn't the video we wanted to put out today. But uh, that's Jay, and I'm Aubrey, and we're barely squeaking by. Our goal above all else is to be consistent, even if everything isn't going to plan. We want to keep delivering videos every Sunday, and we need a little buffer, and that's exactly what this video is. Last week, you saw us discovering something new, getting out and exploring inside the mansion of the president. And this week, we're answering a question that we get asked a lot, and hopefully we can clear up any confusion because full-time traveling, it's not easy. Enjoy the show. It never fails. We always get someone asking, how's your vacation going? And we always laugh a little inside thinking, they may not know what vacationing versus traveling actually is. So today, we're sharing our side, our truth, on how travel differs from someone who's on a vacation. We're currently driving the Pan Am. We're driving this little van all the way to Argentina. Do we know exactly what we're doing? No, because we're traveling. We didn't plan all the stops ahead of time, nor did we read every article out there to study for this trip. We just, went for it. There is no right or wrong, but traveling versus vacationing, there is quite a difference. This is what a vacation might look like. Being weighted on hand and foot, cocktails flowing, name brand purses and fancy hats, staying at the place with the locked gate, and living it up on the balcony. You're paying for every activity on the map. A pricey souvenir? You bought it. Massages? They're scheduled. And here's traveling. A hostel room with a backpack. A cheap van that has an exterior shower with an audience. Eating tacos on the curb. Walking everywhere and buying nothing you don't need. Saving money and being enriched by not knowing what comes next. A local asks you to come over, you say yes. Adventure, you're living it. You're learning the culture firsthand because you're living outside of your comfort zone. You're afraid. Huh? You're afraid. Oh yeah. Terrified. That baby's small. Shout out to our newest patrons. Amber and Joseph. Watching from New Mexico. Thank you for believing in us. I am. I can't even. I can't even. I think we're ridiculous. But. We are ridiculous. Thank you. I mean, I've never felt so alive. And noticed. <laughs> we eat here every day for lunch. And whenever we're here, there's always the vacationers that are walking by on the sidewalk and they slow down and stop to look because it looks really good. But none of them will ever stop to eat this food. And they're missing out so much because it is so good. And I can tell they're curious and I almost want to tell them, like, try it. You'll be surprised. It's super good. But they just keep going. They just keep going. They're missing out. Yeah. Now our daily cost of living is $3.50 here in this junkyard per night. There's no car payments, no mortgage, no electricity bill, no money needed for fancy hotel stays. We're living out of packing cubes, we're showering in the junkyard, and we're eating out of the street carts. 
There's no AC and no expectations. But with that, we gain gratitude and surprises around every corner. Putting yourself outside of your comfort zone makes traveling an adventure. Ask him what it is. Are you a traveler or a vacationer? And why? Are you vacationing because it's a comfort to feel safe? Or to sit there and relax and not do anything? I'll remember every time that I've put myself out of my comfort zone versus every time I've been handed my food. If that makes sense to anybody. It made sense to me. On average, in the United States, a vacation will run you $2,000 per person per week. And that's not including airline tickets, food, transportation, accommodation, souvenirs, activities, and that's talking like the bare minimum is about 2000. So your costs can really add up quick. Yeah. On a vacation. Yes. In contrast, we've been traveling, staying here at the soccer field for about three to $500 for two people in a camper van we paid the bare minimum for. And we're saving even more money by slowing it down. The slower you travel, the cheaper the trip. The cheaper the trip, the richer the experience. So true. So true. Seek out new experiences in new places that make you nervous. Try a trip like that or a weekend spot you've never been and report back. Let us know because once you've challenged your comfort zone, you won't be able to look back and you'll be forever changed. My childhood dream has been to travel, and that's the scary part about following dreams. Once you actually follow them and are living them, you can't see your life being any other way. Put that vacation down. Try traveling at least once and see how much money you'll save and how many memories you'll gain. What were you saying? So I'm saying because we had to walk around for a half hour because the laundry wasn't ready. She was like, come back at eight. So we walked around for a half hour, got totally sticky and sweaty again. I'm making the bed and we're going to have to get in it sticky into the nice clean bed. That's where we're at. Damn it. But it's still $3. So you can't complain. No one's complaining. And it's clean. So still winning. Now we know some people want to relax and that's what they want. But our goal is to share with you that there are other ways to spend your money, to spend your time. Because at the end of the day, it's how you're spending your life. And we're not here trying to say that one is better than the other. It's up to you to decide, is vacation better for me because I only have a short amount of time to do it? Or is traveling better because I have the time? Then you wanna save money. To answer that question, this is a whole different video, but Living on the road is cheaper than living in a house. If you don't agree, let us know in the comments because it's true. It's pretty easy to, to do the, yeah. the math calculations and find out. <laughs> yes. But a lot of that has to do with the standard that you want to live. Yeah, that's what you want. It's what you want out of your life, if for you, sure. If you want to travel in a class A super bus, then, you know, maybe it's not cheaper. But a lot of it That's is, true too. a lot of it or if is. you want campgrounds your, every night with all the amenities. Yeah, it, I mean, campgrounds aren't cheap. No, if you, no, if not you, in the US. If you go so from especially. campground to campground, it costs a lot of money, yeah. um, but. Look at this thing. Look at what just showed up. So he said they're, they're gonna be here in Mexico till May. They're gonna find a storage place in Mexico City in May because it's getting too hot, and then they're gonna go back home to Switzerland Whoa. for like six months until about October when it starts to cool off again. Then they're gonna fly back wow. and then continue their journey. Whoa, they're going to Argentina. 
Yeah. And they don't know how long it's going to take. I asked him and he's like, I don't know. He's like, it's a plan, but tomorrow it could all change. So I don't even know how he goes on any of these streets with that thing. Dude, you know, it's all, it's all in what you want. And we want an adventure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's why we're traveling. It's true. Let's see. Wait. Wait a minute. I don't even know if we mentioned, but we are in San Pancho. I don't know if we mentioned that in the beginning. We are still here. It's been... A long time. A long time now. Mm -hmm. We don't know how long. We, we just don't stopped know. counting. Yes. We said we wanted to get out of here fast, but we changed our minds. Now we're going slow and we love it. If whatever happens, you know, we're going to embrace that. And that's also the cool thing about traveling is you can move your time around a little better. I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> Our visa is only six months, so we're not going to be in yes. Mexico more than six months. That's true. That's so true. That, that'll be the thing that forces us out potentially. Yes. But next week's video is a mystery. And I kind of like that. Dude, tomorrow's a mystery. Yeah. Thank you for watching our videos. Thank you. <laughs> Why do you get so shy? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It just sounds weird. Thank you. We love you. Why does it sound weird? I don't know. It's almost like saying like and subscribe. Oh, I don't want to say that. No, I know. Now I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it. Okay. Let me change it. Thank you for being here. That just sounds, that sounds yeah. weird. Thank you for spending your time with us. Thank you for spending your time with us. See you next Sunday. Is that what we want to say? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, okay. I'll say that. You say thank you for spending your time with us, and okay. I'll say see you next Sunday. Okay. Okay. Thank you for spending your time with us. See you next Sunday. What the Just heck? Get, bam, okay, you can cut it I out. know. Our truth So today, we're sharing... We're Jason and Aubrey. We're currently driving the Pan Am. In this cheap old van. We're supposed to use pins and stuff and all that jazz, but it's true to our name. Uh-oh. That. That's my new rag. What do you think? Um, actually... I'll start to roll on through. Let's see. Let me see the side. Yeah, maybe I should wear that. The struggle continues. Here we go. Okay. Putting yourself outside of your... Putting yourself outside of your comfort zone... Putting yourself outside of your comfort zone makes... Are you vacationing? And how much minimum... And how... And how much min... Are you sitting up here? Why are you so short all the time? Maybe my torso is short. No, think... You want me to go get my booster seat? No, you're good. Yeah, so you say enjoy wait. the show and we'll go wait. Okay. Okay. Wait. wait! That was good. Was it stupid? Super stupid, but it was good. It was cheesy. Let's try it again. Okay. Enjoy the show. Wait! wait. <laughs> it's so weird. That's the lamest we thing so... we've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not as lame as the pop-up. Well, that, the pop-up follows that. That's what I mean. This is creativity at its max, at its lowest, maybe at its lowest. Whoa. Dude, the cheese is getting thick. The cheese is good. I'm never growing up. I'm keeping with the cheese because the only way to find happiness is to not really, you know, don't get jaded. Barely squeaking by to the day I die. Oh, nice. That's a new t-shirt. Is it? New t-shirt coming. Where can I get it? Link in the description. <laughs> I'm not saying that. <laughs> not saying that. Oh man, I can't believe we're doing this. It's too much, I'm thinking too much. Should we like go like this and then stand up? <laughs> like ready, come. Come on, ready? 
really want you to